Hi, I'm Joe from GCBC, and this is an admin review of the Bonavita uh, BT1900 TS, I believe. And uh, I'm also going to be reviewing a Bonavita electric tea kettle. Here is the Bonavita uh, BT1900 TS. It has a really nice dispersion screen. They've made this more clear from the previous model I had, which was a 1800. TH and something else I'd like to point out is the, uh, the power switch now is much simpler a nicer design in my opinion um, it does have exit ports for the cable to go on the side or the back however you need it but uh, I've got it filled with some uh, filtered water and I've been using this a lot lately actually uh, just trying to get a feel for the machine seeing what I like and don't like about it overall I think it's just an amazing machine I have uh, a Technovorm uh, a product as well that's a thermal craft and and uh, I can't believe how much cheaper this model is and how well and similarly it performs here is one of my critiques of the uh, of the Bonavita style they use the flat bottom brewers it's not my favorite it does come with a pretty cool um, package of, of filters white which is nice and it comes with enough to really get you going. Um, I've, I've used several pots of this actually while I was waiting for my Technoform to get repaired. Um, so I've been really appreciating this brewer. Like I said, I had an 1800. Um, the only problem I ever ran into it with the 1800 was the power switch failed a couple times. And it failed that it just wouldn't shut off automatically. When I wrote uh, Bonavita, they, they went ahead and um, uh, replaced the unit completely. So uh, in my opinion, there's uh, nobody better at customer service than, than Bonavita. It does have a thermal craft on this model, and as you can tell, I've already got some patina going in there. That's how much I've been using it lately. So um, I really do like this brewer. The, the quality of the cup is, is pretty amazing. Uh, this is just a Melita uh, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got nice nice veins and, and it actually uh, the water goes through it really fast um, so the brew time isn't, isn't excessive and the temperature is spot on I've uh, tested it with a thermometer uh, through these nice little vent holes it makes it real easy to check it out and it was, it was right at 200 degrees in, the, in and around there 200 to 205 and around there so now I'm going to uh, test the brew actually on it uh, so you can kind of get an idea of um, how fast it brews and just to see it you know operate and the sounds it, it sounds very uh, and feels very much like a, uh, a very upscale product which it is so uh, the price is uh, in around 150 I've seen a little bit less than that uh, definitely worth it the, the price the price would be high for some people and and quite a discount say from a technoform so um, I think for bang for the buck it's really hard to beat this I started it the button you turn it off, you can turn it on. It just works. I love how simple it is now compared to the other one. The other one had a much more distinct click when you would turn it on and then uh, as it would shut off it would um, sometimes not shut off all the way so it would just stay on so you'd have to manually shut it off. But this just seems to work as it's intended to very quickly. This has the glass tube that you can see in there. I don't know if it's a good angle that you can see it when it starts to brew. It's very much like the Technoform. The only difference, the main difference in the Technoform in this is that, as you can see here, it has a lot of uh, holes for the shower. Um, I'll show you the Technoform shower just as a comparison, but it's not, not quite as good. This, this actually works really well in getting all of the coffee wetted. Uh, completely and, and with the right temperature, which is nice. I'm brewing a natural Costa Rican uh, with this today. But as you can see, uh, comparison-wise, that has a round screen. Uh, this is a Technoform uh, dispersion screen, which is a big improvement. They didn't used to have that many holes on it before. But now, um, I think they, they got tired of hearing about everybody modifying their Technoform. Uh, shower heads and so they they've made them a lot better now but um, this is the 
current Technoform shower head, and uh, that's the Bonavita for comparison. Here you can see the, uh, the brew temperature rising. It actually stops at right around 200 there. This is fairly accurate. I, I tested it on the uh, the Bonavita tea kettle, which I'll be uh, reviewing later as well. Um, but it actually displays the temperature, and so I could uh, calibrate my uh, my uh, thermometers that way. It, it keeps going. Don't worry. I know it looks like it's slowing down, but it's just creeping ever so up towards 200. Officially time the video. It's it's a quick brew. It's under six minutes, um, much like the Technoform. Um, it operates very similarly. But you get, one of the contrasts would be that uh, the size of it. It's it's considerably lower than the uh, Technoform. The Technoform is about as it's getting close to the size of my Mazer grinder here. Uh, and the, uh, the Bonavita, my Melita. Shorter. Uh, what it gives up for that compactness is something that I, I don't like, to be honest with you. Uh, I know some people that have you know counter space considerations. This might be perfect for them. I, I don't have that problem, so it's more of an inconvenience for me to have this uh, dual uh, lid style of brewer. And I'll explain what I'm saying. The brew finished. The light went out as it should, uh, which is a contrast from the previous model's experience that I had. Um, now we have to take this out. The grounds look great. Got everything out of there. Still a couple little drips, not too bad. Good design. I, I like it. It's a little thicker. It's hollow. And there's a depressor here on the end. And it's not as uh, mechanical feeling as before. It feels a little more flimsy, but it also looks like it probably was designed uh, for better heat retention. I would say the old lid wasn't that great at heat retention. Um, but still, if you leave your, your uh, lid off for a while on accident, or if you just left it in the brewer, you know, a lot of heat's gonna escape and that kind of defeats the purpose of this. So it works. It works good while it's on here. It actually pours well enough. Uh, it does slow it down a little bit. Uh, but more importantly, I think this this was a design change to actually make it hold heat in better. Here's my dirty Technovorm brewer. And as you can see, it has a hole in the lid. And it uses this nice little spout to retain the heat and of course this is thermal um, but it uh, does does a much better job the main thing is I don't have to remove this ever if I don't want to other than to clean it but it allows for the brewing cycle just to go straight into there and uh, and it's already keeping warm without uh, having to transfer a lid of any kind so I say this design, this and Nuco has a similar one as well. It had like a glass ball in there that would make all kinds of racket, but that thing would hold um, coffee hot for days. <laughs> uh, this this does a pretty good job though. This, this holds it warm for a really long time. Uh, as does this, the only problem again is that you, you do have to transfer the lid over, which is something in the future designs. I hope Bonavita watches this and, and decides to make a pass-through lid of some sort. I think that's really the only uh, major thing that I could see that, that needs to be improved on this design.